if the, if the video if the video worked correctly, you would have seen the um the announcement of of Sony's partnership with AT and T when it came to their three G service. Now, at the time, AT and T was in a bad way as far as um public perception based on based on the booze. Um, uh, you know. The company, like for me, I I've dealt with AT and T in the past. I, I'm not a fan of AT and T, um. So you know when I heard the news about Sony becoming a a partner with AT and T to bring their 3G service over to the Vita, little I mean I guess it was I, I was disappointed as were a lot of people. Now, the reason behind the reason for this being on the list. Has more to, has more to do with the potential that it could have been, than it than it does with what happened with you know with them just signing with AT and T just as an exclusive partner. You see, what I envisioned was every cell phone store you went to, whether it was from T Mobile, um, Samsung, uh, Apple Store, Best Buy, what have you. Every one of those stores would have had if you if, if 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 you could put any SIM card into that device into your Vita, right? I envisioned every store having a Vita display on on over there. Your people showcasing it, showing what the what the system can do, all this other stuff. I guarantee you, just by that alone, would have helped the Vita more. Like I'm not saying it would have outsold the 3DS. I'm not saying I'm not saying it would have done that. What I'm saying is that it would have been a big, a big upgrade to what they had to deal with when it came to with AT and T and their 3D service, which I I use once in a while, and it wasn't that good. Um, so I just think that was just one of the reasons why one of the reasons why the Vita failed was because of the because they hamstrung themselves to a company that was that. A company that was suspect to begin with, but they they kind of they kind of you know pushed themselves in this ex- exclusive box where they could really could have gotten more people to buy into the idea of the Vita, and with you know being able to put whatever SIM card on there, and and just being able to to really expand, but instead they they went exclusive with AT and T. Um, I don't know the minutia behind it. I don't know if 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 AT and T was the only one that was interested, but I think Sony should have made it. I think Sony should have made it made you know the use of the SIM card, um, universal, and you know, I mean that's just how I feel. I don't I don't you know I'm not really into the whole. I'm not really I don't really know much about cell phones and stuff like that, so I can't really I can't really speak on it from a technical standpoint. But that's just my opinion. Uh, you guys, tell me what you guys think. This will be 186. I'm out. If the, 